Yes, we don't want no devils in our house. Yes, we Lord. want the Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Have your mercy. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, praise the Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. H to the high. Oh, how's it going? Uh, my name's Garrett from Barbell Bosses. I got Jake sitting right next to me. Uh, you know, co-barbell boss owner. He's hitting a space bar because, you know, we're in space. Why is it not starting? Why is it not starting? Oh, awkward, awkward, awkward. All right, awkward. All right we got it. Okay, so today we're going we're gonna to be starting off talking a little bit about depth because mainly because Jake's depth is, uh, is awful. It's pretty bad, guys. Uh, you know, when I was actually squatting, I felt pretty good to me. I was, you know, feeling it really good. But when I went back and I watched the video again, it was, I was honestly embarrassed. Um, so one thing that I've been doing lately since then, I've been lowering my numbers, going higher rep, lower weight, and worrying about my form. Now, I don't want to go too low, but I'm definitely going below parallel now. I dropped down, I think from 220, I think I was, yeah, I was squatting like 220, 225. I dropped down to, I think, 170 um, for about 8 to 10 reps. And with me, you know, I'm still having that, that little bit of a lower back pain, sort of. So I don't mind skipping literally an entire leg workout, you know? Yeah, as you can see, this is mostly mostly me. Yeah. I, I squatted, I think, uh, four four sets of squats altogether. And then Garrett only did, I think, one or two, maybe. Yeah, but, um, you know, I'm not going to aggravate my legs. Or, not my legs, my lower back. <laughs> great <laughs> like, job. <laughs> um, great, don't you worry. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, because, I mean, if I injure myself to where I can't do anything for, like, however many months, that would really suck. And uh, being completely honest with you guys, uh, you know, who freaking cares about legs? Honestly. I, I, honestly, I go in every day like it like it's a day off. You know, I I don't care at all. Yeah, we but don't. No. One thing I do want to emphasize to maybe most of the uh, new people that maybe watch us or are new to fitness, uh, I definitely emphasize working on form, especially when you're starting off. Um, a lot of problems people have is that they ego lift, they go high weight, uh, however many reps they want to do, but their form is god awful. And once you get to a certain point, you're going to be doing high weight, your form is going to be completely off and not even close to what you want to be doing, and you'll hurt yourself. So that's one of the last things that you want to do is hurt yourself, especially long-term injury. And another thing I, I want to talk about real quick is, you know, I'm adapting to my situation. My lower back hurts. I can't do squats or pretty much anything that's backloaded or me going down. So I can do any sort of like stepping up movement. So what I've been doing was uh, taking plyo boxes and loading up a barbell or some dumbbells <clears throat> and then just doing like, like I guess uh, step ups or something like that. And I can still do Romanian deadlifts and I can still do like calves and all that. So I've just been doing what I can to maintain the size that I have, but eventually I am pretty excited to get back into squatting. Yeah, one last thing I really want to uh, let you guys know, uh, we'll be coming out with more content soon. Uh, we're getting some uh, equipment. We're getting some equipment. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, don't touch my speaker. Uh, I'll be looking in, at a camera. Uh, actually, I think today we're going to Best Buy. 
um, and we'll be getting some different stuff. So the quality will be better. Our content will be more consistent and we'll be doing more uh, constant uploads. Yeah, you know, we're going to be like just like every other uh, YouTuber out there. You know, they all got the same camera. So we're going to just try to be as much like them as possible. Try to get that YouTube money. We're going to start up a supplement company and I'm going to put, I'm going to put steroids send in it. Send us money, please. I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell it to S you. I'm gonna send sell us clothes and supplements, sell, please. I'm going to sell stuff. I'm going to, please send, I'm gonna, please send us stuff. I'm going to say $80 for creatine team on hydro. I'm going to say $80. It's not, know, don't spend gonna, $80 on creatine. You, know, you ever had some whey protein that's $120? It's the cutting edge don't in whey it. protein technology. You will never have whey protein as good as my whey protein technology. It is the cutting edge in technology of protein whey. protein blend, whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate, and whey peptides. Oh, that's cool. Sounds good. So we got recovery blend. Recovery blend. Is it for recovery? Creatine monohydrate, leucine, isoline, uh, alveline, and glutamine. That, I'm pretty sure is the one that's like oh. super, super cheap, and then they just fill it with it, and they put like 2% of like creatine monohydrate or some bull crap. Protein blend. Micronized whey protein concentrate, whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate, Hydrolyzed whey protein. Who knows how much of what we got? Probably mostly concentrate. One hundred percent whey protein features technology enhanced protein with hydrosates, clinically proven to deliver more amino acids into the bloodstream better and faster than regular whey. Such freaking science. More amino acids are available for muscle fuel. Okay, sure. Wow. This is the cutting edge of protein. It's like saying I have the cutting edge of freaking peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's... 